I can't really figure out how to angle this properly because I'm I'm testing out my uh, microphone here and um, yeah it's been a while since I've used it and I thought maybe I would record a video again with it because I'm gonna use it to travel soon and um, I'm going to travel to Spain more precisely to Bilbao because the uh, because they are hosting the Linux Foundation is hosting the Open Source Summit. So we've uh, arrived here in Bilbao and uh, we just booked like the, not the cheapest hotel, but also not the most expensive one. Let me show you the bathroom real quick. So as you can see, standard sink, toilet and a shower. And then the bed looks pretty nice as well. Got a double bed here. The view isn't something amazing. We are staying at the hotel. Siri Miri. Yeah, like I said, we don't get the best view in the city, but uh, you know, at least got a place to stay. And I think that what we'll do right now is, it's already uh, 11, 11, 17 right now. So what we're gonna do right now is uh, maybe just have a look around the uh, the vicinity here. Good morning. I slept kind of okay. Um, let's see what the. Because it's 7 30 right now. And it's still dark outside. I'm not used to this. It's. Uh, especially the last three weeks, I've been on holiday, and every time I wake up, the sun was already out. Uh, so this is like the first time in. Maybe like two weeks that I'm uh, waking up at 7:30, um, which isn't, you know, which isn't like new to me because I usually wake up at six. Anyway, my my phone stopped filming for some reason. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna get some coffee, which is very necessary. If definitely, if you're, this is a. Uh, this is not my bed, so I don't sleep as well as I can. And also, the first night when I'm uh, when I'm abroad, I always don't really sleep that well. Um, but we're gonna get some breakfast, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get to the venue, and we're gonna get our badges, and then we'll go to the event. I'll see you there. Bye. <laughs> Over here you can see Gabriele Colombo speaking, he's the general manager of the Linux Foundation. Now besides him, there were of course a lot of other speakers. Now I'm not going to go over all of them, because besides me there was of course a real film crew. Somebody who had a night entire setup, uh, live streaming the entire event. Uh, you can watch those keynotes 
on the Linux Foundation YouTube channel. If you just type in the Linux Foundation in YouTube search, then you'll definitely find the channel and then you can find all the keynotes over there. So I don't, I wasn't really planning on covering everything because, you know, my audio is never going to be as clear as those guys because they have probably like direct connections to the microphone of the speakers as well. And they had a lot more professional setup than what I've, because I was using this camera and my phone uh, and a GoPro. So that was my gear. So that's going to be like, yeah, you can imagine that it didn't really make sense that I would be filming all of the keynotes uh, if you see somebody who has a lot more professional equipment. So definitely go check that out if you're really interested in the keynote. I was really happy to see all the different keynote speakers. Uh, I was happy to see Jim Zemlin, who is the executive director of the Linux Foundation and you know, just being at the event just gives you a lot more uh, motivation to keep going in the open source industry. Uh, being at the event, listening to those speakers in person, in that live audience, it's just a different vibe where you get motivated from all of those speakers that are there and seeing all those people working in open source, it really gives you that motivation to keep going and to be happy that you are in this industry, uh, not just the IT industry because the IT industry is very broad, you know, but just being in that open source industry, it really gives you that motivation to keep going and to even uh, improve and that's something that I'm going to do right now because next thing that I did was go to those booths and you know being motivated I immediately went to the Linux Foundation certification booth and I asked the guy about different things regarding certification and I think that was a little bit hesitant what I was going to do I think I'm going to get certified with the Linux Foundation rather than with Red Hat uh, just to have that um, uh, distro agnostic kind of certification uh, although you know the Linux Foundation isn't as known in the entire industry uh, for its certifications it's not as uh, popular of, of a certification for me it's just really showing my skill set it's just a matter of uh, uh, showing myself that I'm actually capable of uh, completing one of these exams and uh, uh, it's been a long time coming I told myself I want to get certified for a long time but now I, I since I went to that event I'm really a lot more motivated to do so now besides of course the Linux Foundation there were a lot of other booths we went to hollow chain which is a very interesting uh, technology as well and then also went to SUSE and to Red Hat talked to many different people at the booths and they all had inter interesting stuff to say because I had the exhibit hall pass uh, unfortunately, I couldn't follow the entire event. There was a lot of stuff going on all the time. Uh, in the afternoon, there were still a lot of conferences. There were a lot of uh, speakers still. We even had workshops here and there. So I think that by next year, I'm definitely gonna, gonna upgrade my pass. I told myself I was gonna stick with the exhibit hall pass for this year because it was my first time and it's still a lot cheaper. But by next year, I might upgrade my ticket to something that allows me to follow the entire event. So yeah, of course, after the event was done, we still had some free time because our flight was only leaving the day after so that the event was done. And on Thursday, uh, after the event, we went to the Guggenheim Museum, which was also fun. So next year, I'll be at the Open Source Summit again. It's hosted again in September. I believe it's the 16th of September until the 19th of September, I believe. Uh, not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. In Vienna, which is also a very nice city. But let me know in the comments down below if you'll be there as well. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was a little bit informative and you got sort of the idea of how the Open Source Summit, uh, of what, what the Open Source Summit actually is. And hopefully I'll see you next year. And if not, then thank you anyway for watching. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.